Alex was a very driven, very competitive individual. And, um, you know, he just wanted to win, and that's the only reason we did it, you know, I think. You know. I mean, we're friends in the sense that we're all in the Northwest, but they are the enemies, you know. You know they're, they're clearly our biggest rivals and competitors in the UK, and then obviously you've got two or three clubs in Europe. Um, but no, no, absolutely. You know, that's, that's what we're there for, knocking them off their perch. How far behind are you to them? A long way behind them at the moment. Yeah. No, we are. Yeah. That's, why, that's why I say, it's, you know, this is... Uh, it's not a light, so it's not going to change tomorrow. It, you know, people need, unfortunately, uh, to give us a, a little bit of time to, to, to get back to where we should be. What, next season? We won't be next season. It'll be two to three seasons. I think, I think that would be silly to say that by next season we'll be at the same level in Manchester. I mean, it took you know, Pep a few years to get to where he got to in Manchester City. He's not been there two seasons. So it takes time and a bit of patience. And we need to walk to the right solutions, not run to the wrong solutions. So, we will make a decision and we will justify it. He's a Manchester United footballer and we are in charge of football. So the answer is yes, we have to make decisions. It's quite clear we have to make a decision. There is no decision that's been made. He's on loan, obviously, but he's not the only one. We've got one or two footballers that we have to deal with and we have to make a decision. So we will do that. The process will be understand the facts, not the hype, and then try and come to fair decision on the basis of values, which is basically, is he a good guy or not? And answer, could he play sincerely for Manchester United well? And would we be comfortable with it? And would the fans be comfortable with it?